my God. Like he shot a couple of times. Mm-hmm. And I, I so was is so he scared. in the car shooting from the car? Megan? He is he? standing up over the window okay. shooting. Uh-huh. And I didn't even want him. This is where it gets funky as well. I thought she said her back was turned. I don't know what's going on no more. First, her back was turned, but she could still, I guess she got a third eye. She could see that it was Tori. Her back was turned, but she could see it was Tori over the window. I don't know. This is kind of odd. Move. I didn't want to move too quick. Like, cause I'm like, oh my God, if I take the wrong step, I don't know if he can shoot something that's like super important. I don't know if he could shoot me and kill me. Like, you- by the way, she has to work on the crying shit. Like the crying shit right here don't look too, 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 like, you know, believable. But I'm not going to negate what she's saying. I, I, I will tell you. The reason why, if you ask me, like, why, again, first of all, I wasn't there, so I wouldn't go on record believing either side. But th- this is where, and, and, and I'll be honest with y'all, I've never understood, and I've talked to Tory. this is before before his case got to this point, and I've talked to, actually, I've talked to the best friend, too. I've talked to the best friend. And I've never just got this answer. But this this is part of the story that is true. But I, but I don't know why this happened. Meg wants to get out the car. Allegedly, she kicks one of the windows. Apparently, like, kind of shatters or, like, you know, breaks somehow. They pull over. She hops out the car. She's walking away. And then what's interesting is... I don't know what exactly happened before a gun was introduced. I think that's important. Like, how did that happen? Now, from what I hear, Tori didn't have the gun with him. The gun belonged to the security guard slash driver. If the driver is driving a car, how do other people get the gun? But, 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 but not only that, I hear there's, I heard there was a wrestle for the gun. Allegedly, that people were wrestling for the gun. That even confuses me. Why would people need to wrestle for the gun unless someone may have intended to use the gun? Then, let's say I'm not going to negate what she said. She said she heard Tori say dance, bitch, dance. That's just an odd phrase to say before shooting at a woman. And not that it matters. Let's just assume this is all true. You shot multiple times at her. Nothing hit directly. And she ended up with bullet fragments. This whole story just sounds wild. Let me tell you this. I, I, I've talked to the best friend. And by the way, it's important timing. Well, actually, no, we'll play it in a second. But, but for anybody who might be like, yo, act, yo, you, yo, you just on Tory's dick, you hate women, blah, blah, blah. No, bro, I'm, I'm trying to be as objective as it could be. I'm just telling you with this story, I believe the way she's telling the story doesn't make me feel like she's given all the details. And I feel like this is a nuanced situation. If you ask me what I really think that happened, I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel, um, this is what I really feel happened. And by the way, I have no proof of this. I have no proof. This is what I really feel happened. Meg feel that Tori is trying to get with Kylie. She and her feelings. By the way, they've been fucking. What I mean fucking, he been donkey fucking her, okay? Meg done fucked like 30 niggas in the industry. That's what I heard. I don't know what Meg over here acting like she not giving up that little pussy. You feel me? 
Meg was fucking Tori. Tori piping her out. Tor she invited Tori to, to Kylie's house. Tori over here thinking his big head ass, alopecia having ass, is about to get like a come up by trying to slide up in Kylie. Meg peep the shit. Start acting up. Call that bitch ass nigga out. Then the best friend's like, what the fuck? I ain't know you was fucking with Tori. Yo, by the way, I'm a, and I got video to prove this part, I'm going to say. This is about the fourth nigga that Meg done fucked in the industry that her friend start talking to. That's whole like behavior. That's just facts. Her best friend find a nigga, start talking to him, and Meg fucked the nigga. That's a fact. This is what I believe. I don't have no proof of most of what I'm saying. If I have proof, I'll show y'all. But it's what I honestly believe. I don't, I'm calling it straight down the line. I don't care about Tori or Meg. Cool. Meg, Meg getting at, at, at Tori. Tori's kind of in the middle trying to calm her down. But the best friend's looking at Tori like, yo, damn, yo, you a fucked up nigga. They start getting loud, blah, blah, blah. Also, the best friend looking at Meg like, damn, Meg, this is the fourth nigga you done fucked. The fourth. How you my friend and every nigga I meet, you fuck him. Bet. Kylie Jenner, they not into that fucking Jocelyn Cabaret. Fuck it, man. Get these hooligans out of here. The, the, the security escort everybody out. Tory's driver was out already outside. They hop in Tory's car because they didn't want to leave Shorty there and blah, blah, blah. You get me? By the way, if, you, if you're asking why, why, why Meg wasn't there with her security. Remember her security came out later talking all that bullshit? The reason why Meg wasn't there with her security, Meg was fucking Tory behind even her security's back, okay? Her team didn't even know she was fucking Meg. To keep her real, her best friend didn't know. Meg was taking private private flights and all type of shit. Meg didn't, uh, um, Meg's team didn't know for the most part, and that's why they were relying on Tory's security, because if Meg wasn't doing some sleazy shit fucking her best friend's nigga, she could have had her security and her team watching out for her best interest, but she didn't. So she relied on Tory people, okay? Now, let's get to it. They fucking get in the car. It's a three-way argument. The best friend argued with both of them. Yo, Tory, you a piece of shit, man. You really talked to me for all these months, and you over here, you fucking my friend. Also looking at Meg like, yo, Meg, yo, you my sis. Like, yo, we both from Houston. This is the fourth nigga you don't fuck. Like, yo, what's up with you? Blah, blah. Meg over here, she's lit as fuck, lit out of her mind. She's telling her that it ain't like that, blah, blah. But she's also cussing out Tori because she's like, yo, Tori's just doing whatever, whatever. Cool. She's just frustrated with this whole argument. She's just telling like, yo, fuck it, man. She don't want to be a... Yo, 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 get me out of the car. They be like, yo, we going somewhere. You know when the drunk person want to do some dumb shit while you have a plan? Yo, yo, let me out, let me out. Like, she's getting emotional. Man, shut the fuck up. We get into the hotel or wherever the fuck y'all going. She start acting up. They're trying to kind of like control her. She start kicking the window. They pull over. She get out. She get back in the car. And then when they start driving again, they start fucking arguing again. Everybody's arguing. She fucking act up again. They pull over. She hop out, start walking away. This time, the friend, this is what I believe. This is only my thoughts at this point. Only my thoughts. So I have mostly no proof to, 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 to um, uh, uh, um, 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 to back this part of what I'm saying up. I believe the friend who that's why Tori was that's why Meg wanted to get out of the car. I think the friend is upset at Meg. Meg not trying to like react to them. Meg's like, yo, Meg, yo, Meg been fucking her nigga, bro. Like Meg been literally fucking this is the fourth nigga Meg done fuck, bro. Like Meg really like Meg like Meg's a demon, bro. Like she done fucking she any any nigga her best friend fine, she fuck. Like, bro, like, her friend tight. Anyway, whatever, whatever, they go back and forth. They train personal insults. And this is what I think. I have no proof for this. This is what I'm going to tell you. I think. I think that Meg hop out the car, start walking away. They tired of her, too. And her friend talking shit. She probably said some slick shit to her friend, too. And her friend probably, who also was drunk. Everybody drunk. Tori was drunk, too. Friend fucking trying to buck at her. Grabbing for the gun. Tori's trying to stop her. Like, yo, chill. What the fuck is you doing? The gun was for the security, so the, the friend grabbed it. I think Tori was wrestling over the gun. The gun shoots a couple times. It didn't aim at Meg, but it aimed at the ground. The bullet flies off the ground, splits into a million pieces. 
it didn't shoot Meg, but like some of the fragments hit Meg. She bleeding. She's all hysterical. You feel me? They they basically try to calm her down. There's people in houses right over there that looking like, what the fuck going on here? They hear the gunshots. They hear Meg also crying. They hear people shouting this and third. They tell, yo, get back in the car. Get back. Yo, yo, come on, come on. Whatever, whatever. I got to think at that point, Meg, like, I know she drunk. I know she drunk. Which, by the way, it would be helpful if she just said she was drunk because there's so much questions I would ask. Meg, why the fuck would you get back in a car after a nigga shot you, bro? Like, let, let's just really be honest. If a nigga just clapped you, bro, why would you get back in a car? No, that nigga, like, it was a drunk, like, she ain't mentioned nothing about alcohol. It's alcohol this whole shit's caused by. Yo, the nigga calmed you down. you like, all right, bet, 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 bet. You get in the car. And then that's when the police come because the police pull y'all over not too long after y'all leave that block. And then when y'all leave that block, basically the cops start asking you questions. You look at it and I, I, I don't want to invalidate what she's saying when she said she was trying to save Tori and wasn't trying to say he shot her or whatever. Maybe she was just talking about the glass from the whatever. I don't know. Because, you know, I've also heard rumors that Meg's feet was cut. When she, like, she was limping before she got shot. I don't know what the fuck, bro. Like, you know, I don't want to make it sound like I'm defending nobody here. But um, I just feel like Tori and the best friend was wrestling over that fucking gun, bro. Like, let's just keep it 100, bro. Tori and the best friend was wrestling over the gun. I just can't see why Tori would shoot her. I can see why the best friend would shoot her. Nigga, that's the fourth nigga you done fucked. Whoa, man. Like, what the fuck going on? Like, man, every time we go out to a party, then nigga, I'm talking to you the fuck. You know what I mean? Like, what the fuck going on? You know what I mean? So, that's what I'm thinking happened. I could be wrong, bro. I could be wrong. But they told my... Listen, I I thought it was one shot got fired. She said there's multiple shots that get fired. Multiple? But let's keep listening real quick. You were afraid for your life at that I time? I was really scared because I had never been shot at before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I looked down at my feet because I wasn't even... The adrenaline is pumping so hard. I'm not sure if he hit me. Like, I feel it, but I don't understand what's happening. So I look down at my feet, and I'm like, oh, my God. Like, I'm really bleeding. Mm -hmm. So I, like, drop down, and I crawl in somebody's driveway. Mm -hmm. Like, I can't believe you shot me. And what is he saying, Tory Lane, saying he's after apologizing. He he's apologizing. He's I'm so sorry. <laughs> Please don't tell nobody I'll give y'all a million dollars if y'all don't say nothing. And I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, what are you offering me money right now? Help me. Like, and if you're sorry, just help me. Like, but at that moment, we didn't even make it to to the house. Like somebody had already called the police and it was like so many of them. It was yo, yo, Gail, man, you got to get out of this interview business, man. Like you a big name, but you trash. I got to keep it 100 with you, man. You ain't ask her. Why the fuck did you get back in a car with the nigga who shot you? Why? Did he force you? Did he put the gun back to your head? Did he say he gonna shoot you again? Why the fuck would you get back in a car with the nigga who just shot you? Who knows if he gonna, like, if you're, she said she was scared. What, did you not think that he might just be bringing you somewhere to finish you off? Helicopters, I was like, oh my God, we all about to die. Like, Yo, Meg, you should at least cut three onions under your eyes before this shit because it's like she's trying to produce the tears, but the tears ain't coming, bro. It just ain't coming, bro. Like, she's trying, bro. Like, the George the George Floyd incident had just happened. The Stop it! Very much shoot first, ask questions after. So mm -hmm. I'm like, it's a hot gun in the car. I'm bleeding. I've been shot. They about to kill somebody like something bad is about to happen mm -hmm. so what? somebody hears the gunshots they call the police the police come and they say what to you they tell everybody to get out, get the out car. of the car oh, oh, my, oh my god i'm trying to tmz obtained by the way you see this clip right here where she's backing up and she's bleeding i feel very sympathetic for her with that like it seems bad bro like you know something happened to her i'm i ain't never say nothing happened to her I feel the details around something happening to her. That's the only thing we're talking about. You know what I mean? Like, I ain't gonna lie. I watched the footage of her backing up, and I'm like, damn, something happened. 
I think we all kind of know something happened, right? Um, some people are skeptical if she got shot because it's like, if you got shot, you crawl in. But it's okay, whatever. Uh, we just trying to figure out what the fuck happened. Video from that night. And it, you can see the footage of me in the <laughs> swimsuit, right. limping backwards, feet bleeding. And they say to you, what happened here? I don't remember everything they said to me, but I remember them asking me what's happening, what, what happened to you. And I didn't want them to kill any of us mm -hmm. or shoot any of us. Mm -hmm. So I just said I stepped on glass mm -hmm. because I didn't Why did want... you say that? Why didn't you say I don't... that? Okay, I'm going to interject my opinion. And I am definitely liable to be wrong because this is me trying to use my situation, situational you know, awareness or, or situational, you know, understanding to make this opinion. I think two things. When Meg got back in that car, Meg was understanding that it was an unfortunate incident that led to whatever that happened to her getting injured, and she was trying to cover it up. I think she's BSing about... I only didn't tell him the truth because of George Floyd. I think that's BS. George I Floyd. Think at first, Meg was it. going to say, nah, that ain't really what happened. You get what I mean? I think that's what it is. Like, I'm going to just be very honest. Okay? I believe so. Okay? I could be wrong. But if you ask me, I'm just analyzing like everybody else. And I don't need to say allegedly because th this is my interpretation of what I believe is going on. I think that she she was trying to help cover it up too. And this is why it gets spookier. Because something happened in between then and the next morning that changed everything. Something happened in between then and the next morning that changed everything. Not going to lie, a lot of people have told me what happened is Rock Nation. That people at Rock Nation heard the story and said, no, Tori shot you. This is how we're playing it. This is what I've heard. A lot of people have heard that too. It's not just me. But if you ask me when she said, when she's explaining why she didn't just tell them she was shot at, she did not want to think. And by the way, you'll hear me play clips of the best friend who said, who will say, it wasn't supposed to go this far. You know what, you know what that means? It was a like all y'all was on some dumb shit. All y'all. All y'all were on some dumb shit. Drunk, dumb drunk shit. Shit happened. Y'all was trying to cover it up. And somehow it went super serious. And that was out of everybody's hand. That's what I truly believe. Let's keep playing. You shot me. I didn't, for some reason, I was just trying to protect all of us because I didn't want them to kill us. Like, even though this person just did. Bro, you serious, bro? <laughs> <laughs> you serious? <laughs> I was trying to protect all of us. <laughs> even those things that shot me. It really, really bro. Balls up. Like, like, are, are we really serious, bro? Bruff. Bruff. Just did this to me? Mm -hmm. My first reaction still was to try to save us. Like, mm -hmm. I didn't want to see anybody die. Mm -hmm. So die. I just did it. I stepped on glass. So when I see people trying to use me. There it goes. Yo, it's died. I mean, what she mean? How did this bitch to somebody dying? She said, "This is dying. It's not it knowing." Bro, that Another bitch is George, George Floyd. Bitch, do George Floyd in there? Oh yeah. So, so Meg, was there <laughs> any <laughs> point <laughs> where maybe you could have got cut from glass on your feet? I want to hear her say, "Oh no." If she says no, I'm like, "Okay, good." But she positions it in this interview like. Oh, glass? I randomly made up glass. No, you didn't. Is that against me? Like, trying to act like I'm lying? Oh, she stepped on glass. She never got shot. I don't know who said I stepped on glass. I was lying to protect all of us. Mm -hmm. 
And I, sometimes I wish I really would have never said that. I never want to get on victims like that, but l l let's really start talking about this. Meg at first says her first contact with the police when she was backing up and she was bleeding. She was in a bikini. She said that she stepped on glass. But what you're going to also hear her talk about, she's later brought to the hospital. <laughs> I get it. Like, play this. The other day a cop pulled me over. It was a black dude. By the way, it was mad cool. It actually gave me a break. You know, it just gave me like a little obstruction of obstruction of view ticket. It's like 35 bucks. So it's cool. But one of the things he did, he was trying to make sure I was comfortable. Like, he's black. But he was just like, I guess he was trying to like, he actually dapped me up when we left. I don't know if he knew me or not. But he, like, he, he wanted me to not feel like my life was in danger because he pulled me over. So I definitely understand that. But that's in the moment of being pulled over. Meg, you're not with the nigga who shot you, right? So you can't say he's intimidating you. You're now at the hospital. Why the fuck you ain't telling the truth? Why the fuck if, unless you're not, unless you ain't trying to cover this up, why you not telling the I get it at the car. You, you, you trying to keep it calm? But you go to the hospital afterwards. Why are you not telling the truth? Why not just tell the truth? Who are you protecting at that point? They got Tory in custody. What do you think they're like? And if I'm you, the nigga who shot me, I'm hoping the cops do kill that nigga. Kill that nigga. Why? Like, she, like, 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 we're not Share asking. The role. Share the role, please. It feels like we're, we're belittling a victim, but if I understand her saying in the moment when the cops roll up, she don't say it. But then she get brought to the hospital. The hospitals later also say, oh, shit, we, there's bullet fragments here. They're taking it out of her leg or her foot or whatever. So they know what's going on. Why don't she just tell them then? Allegedly, she doesn't fully cooperate till the next day. Why? You see why I believe that she was trying to cover it up too. But why was she trying to cover it up? Let's, we got to ask these questions. Share the room. Share the room. Share the Maybe room. it was an accident. Maybe it was a mistake. Maybe it was some shit that is just not black and white. That somebody shot her. Maybe it was some shit that two people were... Who knows? 100 show on Clubhouse. The 100 I'm wondering why that's not involved in that story. Let's keep listening. You wish you would have just told the truth. Yeah, I wish I would have told the truth, but I, if it saved all of us from dying, then that's Stop. just probably what it was. What the fuck? So when you told the police well, you stepped on glass, did they believe you? I don't know. So how did you go from the glass? Did you go to the hospital? So right they took that? me straight to the to hospital. The hospital. Mm -hmm. And see gail king is trash immediately I would, I would be like okay so you're not around tory lanes you're not around the big bad shooter why don't you tell them that you got shot by big bad tory lanes the police questioned me and i said it was just glass you still stuck okay why did okay so so this is what you hear what i'm saying right her first example of oh i i didn't tell them because black men are getting killed cool stuck with you that stuck story. with it, it was glass and you went to the hospital. Why are you still sticking with the glass story? Meg, you were trying to protect the nigga. But you were trying to protect him, not because you thought he could get killed. It's because whatever that happened, you were cool at first with wiping it under the rug. Right as the officers were like, okay, we done with this, we leaving. The doctor came in and he was like, you know, you got bullets in both of your feet. Like... You got fragments in this foot, and it's like right on the back of your Achilles. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, there is a medical report that says that there were bullet. Uh, so she lied Achilles. to the cops, and right when the cops are finna leave, the doctors come and be like, yo, there's bullet fragments there. 
that you had been shot. Mm -hmm. And the medical report also says that to this day you still have bullet, still bullet fragments, fragments in, in your my foot. feet. And there are still many people, as we sit here today, Megan, that don't even believe. By the way, the police report for that night still doesn't say Meg said anything about Tori shooting her. Just, just, like, I'm just trying to get you to get the mentality of it. So now they find out that you got bullet fragments. You, Tori's not around. Tori's not around her. She still don't say Tori shot her. Why and what changed for the next day? You were shot. The, there is um, a hot gun in the car. Yeah. What, what else? What, what happened? In text messages obtained by CBS News, Kelsey Harris, the other woman in the car, texted Megan's security guard saying, help, Tori shot Meg. I really thought that we were all friends. And it's, sometimes I feel like I put the blame on myself because when my mom passed, I just felt like I was looking for some type of family environment and I was letting so many people in. And I didn't care who it was. I just wanted to feel like I got family and I got people that care about me and just I could hang out with everybody. And I, I was just going through it. What was the nature of your relationship with Tory Lanez? Because he has led, led people to believe that it was a sexual relationship, that it was uh, that you two were dating. What was the nature? We were of your, not dating. We what were was the, You're damn right he wasn't dating you. He was just fucking the shit out of you really close we were friends we yeah i was definitely close that nigga was close to your ovaries your intestines his mom passed too so when i felt like we were bonding so over much. that mm -hmm. and bonding okay and did you have an intimate relationship with him like sexual yeah yeah did you have, <laughs> did you Come on now, like sexual. You, Megan, <laughs> did you have a sexual relationship with Tory Lanez? Yes, that's my question. Um, I didn't have a sexual relationship oh. with Tory. So what? Right then, I threw this whole interview out the window. <laughs> yo. Right, yo, let me tell you, it's, it's something about like, and by the way, this is Meg's intention. She wants to be believed. Anytime you want to be believed, and you want to go tell the story, tell the whole story. That's why I love telling stories. You know why? Because when I'm, when I'm, you know me, I, I love telling the truth. I'm going to tell you some shit about me that I'm probably going to make me look too good. But it's going to be the truth. This story don't even sound right now. So, like, right when she said, oh, I wasn't fucking him, Cap. If, if you think I'm lying. Remember I told y'all this. Look at what the best friend said. She said she never fucked Tori. This is the best friend who this is the fourth nigga that Meg done fucked? Who, who the best friend talked to first? The best friend wouldn't say this if you never fucked Tori. Listen to this. Find out. I come to find out your ass was fucking with a nigga behind my back that I was on first, and that ain't right because you supposed to be my best. You supposed to be my best friend. We laugh at bitches that do that shit to each other. We we not supposed to do that shit to each other. So stop playing with me. And I don't want to go back and forth on the internet. I don't want to know it. I don't, I don't care whatever you think you got on me. Expose the shit. Because there's nothing that you can expose that I won't, I won't hold myself accountable for. Accountability. You need to learn how to hold yourself accountable for shit. This shit. I don't even know why it's going this far. I'm hearing all the keywords. I don't know why it's going this far. This is a, this is a nigga who you was fucking with behind my back. She's talking like Meg was fucking that nigga, man. Let's just like, yo, you got to use a little context clue to shit, man. Your best friend ain't talking to you like this unless you fucked her man, bro. Come to find out, I come to find out your ass was fucking with a nigga behind my back that I was on first. And that ain't right because you supposed to be my best. Put it like this. Meg was fucking a nigga. Like, come on, bro. Like, like, bro, do we have to really like, come on, bro. Like. The best friend's basically saying, you, you was fucking a nigga, man. This is her best fucking friend. This is the other chick that was in the car. And the pussy was called. And the pussy had an odor. Yeah. What? She definitely it had was not. Her shit got an odor. Fucking with Tori. Her shit got odor. Wasn't both. It made her whole shit sound weird. But let's keep listening. Why do you think he's putting out the story that the two of you had a relationship and that you're making the whole thing up? 
I think that he is trying to deflect from the fact that he c committed a crime. Tory Lanez pleaded not guilty to assault and weapons charges related to the shooting. We asked his attorney about Megan's allegations in this story. She responded that they look forward to addressing Ms. Pete's claims, including her inconsistencies, discrepancies, and omissions when his case goes to trial later this year. How has your life changed since you were shot? I feel like my anxiety is worse. I feel like... Mental health bullshit. My relationship with people is... It's gotten very cold because I'm not as trusting as I, was, I used to be. I was going to ask you, is it hard for you to trust people? Like, I got this wall and I don't want to make any friends and I'm trying to be as nice as I can to everybody. My, I don't even probably, new people, I probably don't even hold a conversation longer than 30 minutes because I feel like every time I'm talking, I'm like on the verge of tears and I don't want to have to explain to strangers why I'm crying. Yeah, yeah. Half the time, I just want to pick up the phone and call my mom and be like, what do I do? Like, it's too much. I feel crazy. I'm sad, like, and I feel like I have to hold it in because I have to be strong for so many people. What do you say to people that still don't believe that you were actually shot? I don't think any of this is for them. Like, it's for me. Like, I know this happened to me. Mm -hmm. And. I'd rather it play out in court and the facts come out and everything comes out. I'd rather play out in court, but I'm definitely here on this interview just to tell y'all what the fuck happened. And I'm going to speak more now than I'll ever say in court. Huh? Than me having to plead my case. And I, I'm a victim. Like, I'm the victim. Like, I don't, I'm not defending myself against anything. Like, something happened to Whoa. me. And following a pretrial hearing earlier this month, Tory Lanez was taken into custody. Oh, man. Uh, Meg, I am sympathetic for your situation. I don't believe any woman should, you know, um, go through some of the things that you are allegedly going through. But I'm going to be honest with you, man. The, the, this story just stinks of, of just lies i mean, just I, I just can't believe the, the entire story how how you're telling it and again not saying that you weren't shot or maybe tori ain't do it but the story as you're telling it sounds like a whole bunch of fucking cap and if you really cared about the legal system getting you some justice you wouldn't be doing interviews but you care about the people and if you care about the people maybe you'll get everybody else on your side but until I see what goes out in court and I get more information, I don't believe it happened how you said. Okay? And shit, I've been waiting for Tori to give the deep, like, the, uh, to be honest too, and this is where I get to be all the way honest. I've, I've asked Tori a million times about what happened. And to his credit, Tori has never, ever told me what happened when it came to the motherfucking, um, like, what happened with the gun being fired. Like I've heard the stories, I've heard the stories. It it always skips over the part where the gun gets introduced and somebody gets shot. The story starts. I heard five people tell the story. Who were there? Everybody has the same start. A couple of minor details change, whatever, whatever. But once it gets to the gun, nobody knows what happens. And then once it gets to her allegedly be shot, nobody knows what happens. But everybody knows right after what ha what happened, which which is just spooky to me. So, again, I ain't really here trying to take no sides. But, Meg, I, I just feel like you're lying and you're not telling the full truth. Um, you might be the victim, but damn it, man. You might as well just be quiet until the case is resolved. All right? Um, Come to find people. Elon Musk has not bought Twitter. We are cooling. Thank God for that, man. Elon Musk with Twitter, that, that that's the wave. Let me see what else been going on. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. To, lie. Did y'all see Bad Baby making fucking $50 million off OnlyFans? Yo, who do you think her audience is? Uh, he She's the OnlyFans. Oh, man. For a year. 
million dollars in gross. She takes home forty two because you know OnlyFans takes about like you know, I think I forgot if it's like twenty percent or something like that. That's ridiculous. Wack, what do you think? I mean, uh, Ag, what do you think the percentage of the of, of those men are above, let's say, thirty five? What? We talking about bad. We talking about bad baby. About the money she's making. I'm, oh, I'm I don't know. I don't, bro. I don't subscribe to OnlyFans. I couldn't say. I meant to say. I meant to say act, not whack. I apologize. Yeah. I meant to say act. What are we talking about? He's man. not in the room, bro. Yeah, we gotta talk about the <laughs> bro, that was oh, right. right. <laughs> Shoot him to the blue. <laughs> yeah, get him at it. Blue. Yeah, no, deliver man. him to us, man. Bring him down man, to man. us. He still wants that audio. <laughs> <You're> crazy. <laughs> <laughs> hey yeah, yo, nah, nah. Rick. Hey, what? Rick, you seen the footage of your boy Bullets Gotti they sent me? Crazy. Slap him up so in the middle of the street man. and him apologizing to Corey King. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so he Drop that. Drop that. boy. Oh, what? Yeah, you know, you know, they go sit at the whack. Oh, what? That nigga running like when he slapped the nigga up in the middle of the street. He running and nigga apologizing. Corey Kick, I apologize. Hey, hey, smacking them all. Hey, hey, look, got in the street. Start smacking them all in the street. People start jumping out the whip. Yeah, bro, hey. we got to do another uh, one with that, bro. <laughs> that yeah, I don't want to hear nobody going and hanging out with them now. Hey, 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 is it just me or was that the worst fake crying ever? Oh, my God. Man, yeah. she cabin. Bro, the yeah, fact that she, let me tell you something. So now let me really educate y'all because I've done it to some of my clients. <laughs> her management sat down with her. They gave her the keywords of George George Floyd, protect everyone, Trigger. um, protect black man, my mama, right? Trigger. All all of those things is what they told her to say. When you run out of things to say, you go to these things. The victim trigger words. This this is why, when you heard them, you was like, where the fuck did that come from? See, you, when you got a real story that's authentic, your story's your story. It's what it is. It's, it's what happened. Yo, whack. What happened? This what happened. Boom, 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 boom. Got in my car, drove over here, made a left, motherfucker ran into me. That's it. That's it. It ain't nothing. But when you got to, <clears throat> when you making it up as you go, it's just that. And you're going to, you know, if you're not good at being a liar, right, then you got to have things to, to fill in the blanks. Things that you think is going to keep take everybody away from seeing and hearing what you're not doing. That's why all these things. When, every time she said it, it was out of place. Every time she said these things, they were always out like, "Where the fuck that come from?" Yeah, it just happened with George Floyd. George Floyd, bitch, what the fuck? What the fuck? George Floyd, the police <laughs> on the neck. Got to do with your foot, but you went from the neck to the foot. Like what? He George wasn't shot. Like what? What we? Yeah, shit was about? getting weird. Shit um, was getting weird. They had a gun. <laughs> I'm sorry, Meg. Sorry, Meg. Everywhere you go, the security has a gun. I'm sorry, Meg. Stop tapping. You knowing there's a gun around is not shocking. <laughs> Why is she putting nah. to lose though? Like, why is she going to lose the hey, she lied to say because she life. knows that Tory has a gag order and can't defend himself. So she's trying to gain <clears throat> the people because Tory talking about we going to trial. So you know, before that jury selected, before all that goes on, she's trying to do her little brainwashing, get that feel sorry for me vote. Tory can't say anything. The last time he responded, they took him back to jail. She playing a dirty game. Mm. I lied to say, I said I stepped on glass to save everybody's life. It, it just made her look kind of bad, though. Like, oh, yeah, that was a wrong move. She shouldn't have did that. Yeah. Bad like, move. Yeah. Everybody see what's going on. Yeah, like, and then it's the just for she damage tried. control. They use Gail King for damage control, not for the fucking truth. No, they used Dale King because of her platform. She was a black woman. It was symbolic for a mother-like type 
thing with with her. It was it would look like that, but they don't understand. Gail, bitch, we still on you about Kobe. Fuck facts. We didn't care fuck you with our community she anyway. She's really? there to create. Gail, the what I want you to do is go to the nearest basketball court, put a little trampoline out there, take a run and start from the half court. Jump on that trampoline and go on that motherfucking basket head first, bitch. <laughs> Jump your Fuck fucking dumbass into that boot head first. Head first. And I hope yeah. you hit the bottom of the floor, you stupid The only reason why I'm saying head first, because them big ass linebacker shoulders you got, I ain't going to allow you to go all the way through any motherfucking way. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. As my boy K Slate would say, word up, yo. Word up, yo. Word up. <laughs> Where the fuck about you? Did you hear the quote that he played of you, Wack? <laughs> Who? Academics. He played nah. a quote of you when you predicted that she would go on Gail King. Oh, did I? Yeah. Trying to tell you that don't yeah, tell right. to tell you. Beginning. I am a prophet. He knows a lot of shit. I am a he prophet. De you definitely called it. Which lottery numbers to play <laughs> then? Yeah, I am a prophet. <laughs> he's a fucking. He's called a lot of shit. He's play? a prophet. Why you sound like you sound like a puppy? You said I'm a puppy. Let alone you said the media team talking about bringing up George Floyd. This nigga ain't even get shot. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. But the, it was some trigger words. Yeah, that shit was <laughs> she burned out. She you know what I'm saying? You know, she's sitting there. I ain't lying. I'm finna get on one. Sitting up there looking like Angry Bird by the face. Fake teeth. <laughs> Angry Bird? Oh, long face. <laughs> looking like Angry Bird by the face. The red ones. Y'all know what I'm talking about. The one that get real mad. The um, thing that's really crazy is she be like, I'm trying to protect the original like, man, Angry Bird. To yeah, black nigga. Man. The one we was addicted to. Tell me she what tell me look think about it. Tell me she don't look like Angry Bird by the face, bro. Oh shit, she oh do my like, God. That, she look like an angry the bird. Big, like the, a big red, the big red one. I don't get now uh, one uh, ounce of tear. <laughs> I don't get how she was crying without no tears. Like Yeah, crazy. you know. Oh, Miss Nicole, that's her home, girl. You know, Mr. Cole probably the one. To, uh, they teach him that kind of shit, huh? They teach him that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They didn't, they didn't <laughs> line a few niggas. Hey, Wack, right. don't forget what she tried to do to Michael Jackson, man. Talent. That's a the talent they got. That was Oprah, dog. Yo, uh, yo, play the part. Yo, well, I did, let me hear the part where I uh, predicted this shit. I forget all about that shit. I've been on the Kardashians all day. I've been on they bump. <laughs> they didn't like that last post I put up. That last oh, post got to go. <laughs> we need to speak to them. We want to speak to them. They seen that shit. They seen that shit. That shit got them feeling some type of way. They people tell them, tagging them. She said, so why'd you do the sex tape? <laughs> she said, because I was horny and I wanted to. Now the oh, bitch she crying. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I don't know what's going on. Right Give me God. Give me God. This nigga. Oh, no, this shit going up. Ain't that the wrong with her being a horny person? Ain't that the wrong with her being a horny Ain't nothing wrong with her being a horny person. She felt like it. Now she got to, you know, go with the consequences of what happens when you do it. You know what I mean? No one told you to do it. Shit. She was horny. Yeah. She was horny. Yeah. She was horny. <laughs> Every she was time horny. I close my yeah, that eyes. Was stupid, yeah, look at that. A thousand people in the room. Can y'all share the room? Yeah, y'all run the motherfucking shares up, up bro. It's only 177. This one, 177 shares. There's another know, thing, there. too, right? To those is listening, <clears throat> all you fake ass street niggas who take the opportunity. To get my phone number from somebody else and call my phone gang banging. Listen, save the energy, plot, plan, execute, <clears throat> locate me in the streets, my one of my places of business or wherever I'm at, and pull up and put your work in. You call my phone, use the buster. Straight mark. I don't come from that. If you're that mad about it, if you are that mad about whatever it's doing. Every time you call my phone, you make you and your neighborhood look like a bunch of marks. 
Pull up, mm-hmm. get to it. That nigga said no phone, no phone. Right. Call, These nigga. niggas be calling my phone. Hey, cuz, that shit you doing, I'm telling you right now, loke nigga, nigga, we'll pull up. Hey, get <laughs> off the phone. Stop giving me warning. Keep the yeah, element yeah. of surprise on your side, and let's pull get up. to it. That's that shit is weird. Shit. This is why I don't respect you fake-ass gang members, you <laughs> fake-ass street niggas. You niggas got to get high off 13 drugs and drink a bottle of motherfucking Patron No bullshit. pump yourself up to do something. And by the time you get to me, your bozo ass got pulled over for a DUI and end up in O. <laughs> 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 These are Similac babies. Hey, yo. That's crazy, oh, my nigga. I don't want to hear all of that, bro. Hey, yo, I Rick, promise I you, I, I, I give you nigga. my word that when you come playing, I'm giving you my word. You will be played with. Hey, yo. Niggas, hey, I, practice. Time me on. I practice. Hey, yo, Rick, I see why you was dressing like Cam. Nigga, it's cold as a bitch out here, nigga, at nighttime. Nigga, yeah, you nigga, you in the mountains, nigga. That's why. I'm in the Bernardino, hey, nigga. Fact. I'm out that Bernardino, nigga. And hey, we gotta get you talk about how that eight hundred thousand came up missing. Eight hundred thousand came up missing. What you mean? Oh, you talking about them? They know thieves, motherfuckers, are thieves. Mm. Know what's going on? You know they don't never. They all they don't never. You know, anytime they say something, get something I'm saying, they end up telling on themselves. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You motherfuckers were stealing, stealing from the black man or the black woman again. Stealing. Motherfucker, then, motherfucker, put us in the back in the fields, work us all day. Tell eight of us we got to live in a motherfucking concrete little square ass building and don't feed us and throw away all the motherfucking guts and the ears and all the shit on the animals that they eating in their feasting and shit. And then we smart enough to go get that shit out the trash, clean that shit up and create something from it and call it soul food. They still that too. We can't do nothing. Motherfucker, get your American Express, you're stealing. Do this, you're stealing. You're stealing sperm. You're stealing every goddamn gotcha. thing. Gotcha. God damn it. You motherfuckers are sticking us up for real. You That's a mother- fact, nigga. That's a motherfucking fuck fact. Fuck that one. sperm. <laughs> hey, motherfuckers. We really <laughs> waiting to see that bullet's got to go viral. Man, we can't have shit. <laughs> Yo, yeah, we ain't tired of Put it together, yeah, put him we, apologizing we, to Corey King back, t- edit it together, then put it up on the 100 on the on the YouTube channel. All right, send me send me the information hey. or I can send it to you so you can put it. I don't got the email to get yeah. it. So then, I'm a, right. then what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to call my man. I'm going to promote the motherfucker like a game video. I'm going to make sure it's spread <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> hey, I'm telling dope, y'all, man, sad. to hear him say... Oh, uh, uh, I'm sorry, CK. I, I, you know, I apologize to CK. I'm sorry, CK. It's like, bro, and, and he taller than a motherfucker. He looked like he, he tall like as fuck, bro. Straight oh, fuck. Hey, 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 hey. From... <laughs> this, you this might be the man, first man, clubhouse man. ass whooping. <laughs> you gotta understand, Wax New York nigga, tall on me. Lanky ass me. bitch. Tall don't mean nothing, man. You can be tall as shit, a little short nigga, and run down and knock <laughs> your little <laughs> tall ass. Yo, Rick. Yo, Rick. <laughs> A lot of tall, a lot of tall midgets out there, nigga. You could be a tall midget, bro. I can't wait to see that video. CK run was Yo, just Rick. in here too. Yo, Rick. Yo. Yo, Rick. Yo. I just talked to bullets and shit. The nigga got mad at me because I told him, "Yo, I'm glad you okay." Yeah, we glad he okay you- too, man. Check, check, tell a nigga check his diaper. Yeah, he got mad. He got mad at me because I'm like, yo, I'm glad you okay, kid. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let me go spread the word real quick. Let me know what I'm Are you putting in the hallway? <laughs> He's gonna be on site for a while. Watch. Call him out. Yo, yo, make a title and be like, yo, bullets. I'm glad you okay. Call him out. He got the green light. Yeah. Yeah, niggas ain't shit, man. Yeah, nah, niggas ain't start shit. a room and say Bullock Scotty D pins. <laughs> D pins. What, what, what did I miss, man? You ain't miss nothing, man. The same thing that happened that other time happened another time. Nigga, it happened more than once, nigga. Young man got ran like down it, on. Like it. Like it more, more than one time, you just like it now. 
Hey, whack! You should put him on the cover of your 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 diaper shit, dog. About him. Make, make, make a little nah, baby, I mean, make a little yo. baby bullets in your diapers. <laughs> on, on the real though, on the real though, for all these grown folks, everything ain't a toy, kid. Stop playing. But do this guy yeah, doing them toxic. accusations he was making about? But where the bullets at? Where the bullets at? Where the Gotti at? He's supposed to be <laughs> John Gotti. He's got a telegun. He got to be the first ass whooping for goddamn one of the guys that hosts a lot of rooms on club. Uh, nah, nah. He got to go to the Rick, Yo, Rick, salute. I, I pre yo that 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 child safety message was real. I, I got that. Yo, crook, Man. you a wild nigga, crook. That nigga said that child safety message. <laughs> he said, "Little boy, come out to play." Yeah, he got his helmet back on. Yeah, your man's got to relax, son. That nigga's bugged out. When you ain't built like that, nigga, I don't even know why you put yourself in these positions. Like, niggas can't access you without the phone. Hey, this going to be man, the second know, time I, he got caught on video. You know, you, you know why he put himself in the positions, man? You know the song, man. Girls like to have fun. <laughs> Stop having a little fun, you yeah, know, judging that shit out, son. But he's that's been a, trolling. A, he's been trolling Corey King for like three years now. Yo, where that bully God is? Where that bullet's God? He reek fight at, my nigga. I, yo, yo, I pay a hundred. Fuck a fifty. Nah, don't disrespect to reek like that. Go ahead, Josh. Spin that. 